Board Insiders, your snowboard resource. What's up? My name's Tyler. I'm here with Board Insiders. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about a question that we get asked a lot here at Board Insiders, and that is what gear do I need to start snowboarding? So this video is going to be uh, geared toward beginners, so all you advanced people out there, this is probably not for you. You already know what you're doing. Um, we broke this down into several different categories. The first category is going to be essentials. We have five essentials for you. The next category is going to be the non-essentials or less essential. If you have any comments or anything to add, any of you advanced people out there that already know, please feel free to comment below. Again, this is going to be for beginners, so any advice will help. The first item that we have on our essential list is your coat. And uh, the main feature I want you guys to look for when you're going out and purchasing a coat is make sure it has a powder skirt. For snowboarding, you're definitely going to want something like this powder skirt to keep the snow out of the inside of your jacket. So all it is is uh, an extra piece on the inside of your coat that snaps up. And even when the outside's baggy and loose, the inside's going to stay tight and not allow powder to just flow up inside your coat and get you all wet and nasty and cold. So our second item on our essential list is going to be a pair of snowboarding pants. And I say snowboarding, I mean snowboarding pants, not ski pants. They're not going to fit over your snowboarding boots and uh, that's something we have to have. So the way our snowboard pants work is they have this gaiter down at the bottom. You stretch the gaiter over top of your boot and then you stretch the next layer of pants over top of that. You never want to have anything tucked in or it's not going to work properly and keep your feet dry, which really, really sucks to not have dry feet. Um, a general rule of thumb when you're buying pants and sometimes with the coat is the more you pay, the more waterproof it is. And the more waterproof it is in the end, the happier you will be because the drier you will stay. So the next thing on our list of essentials is going to be a, a helmet or a brain bucket, something to protect your noggin. Um, the one thing I'm going to say when choosing a helmet is just choose a helmet that fits properly. You want it to be tight on your head. Uh, you don't want it to be able to fall off on its own. So make sure the helmet fits on your head nicely. You want to make sure that the chin strap isn't too loose. You don't want to be able to fit a lot of fingers underneath there. And just make sure that it can't fall off on its own. Um, a great reason to be wearing a helmet. I wasn't always a believer. In a, I've caught my hill edge riding down the runs before and got whiplash to the ground unexpectedly and been knocked unconscious for 10 minutes. Um, I've also done the same wreck with the helmet on and sat up three seconds later looking around and I was just fine. So that's enough for me to be a believer in the helmet. Um, just take my advice, wear a helmet everywhere you go on a snowboard. Uh, safety first. Okay, so the next thing on our list of essentials is going to be goggles or eye protection. Um, got three different kinds to show you today. This first kind I'm going to show you is going to be for an extremely sunny day. If you notice, you can't see my eyes. So not a lot of light is going to get through this lens. This is going to be for the sunny day. Um, the next goggle I wanted to show you is going to be for partly sunny, partly cloudy day. You don't quite know what to expect. So this is kind of a good mix of both. Um, it's still probably kind of hard to see my eyes, but I can definitely see you a lot easier. So this is going to be for a good mix of cloudy and sunny days. And then the third one I've got, I'm sure you're going to see my eyes really easily through this one. This is for the days that it's snowing heavily and there's clouds above. I mean, not a lot of sun. So you got those three main types. You got the not for sunny day. These are for clouds. These are for clouds and sun. And then you got these for just strictly sun. So the next thing on our list is going to be gloves. You want to keep your hands dry, you want to keep your hands warm, that is the purpose of the gloves. There's many different styles of gloves. The basic thing is you just want to find the glove that feels good on your hand. First thing that you're going to have to choose when choosing gloves is whether you would like to have a mitten or whether you would like to have a glove. Uh, the mitten is definitely going to be warmer. The glove's going to be more deck style. You're going to have much more dexterity, be able to do more things with the glove on. So that's the first thing you're going to, want to, going to want to decide. It's a little harder to put your bindings on with these than it is with these. And that's a big deal sometimes. Um, next thing you're going to notice when making a purchase of gloves is that there is also one called over, which is this one in my left hand, and one called under. Um, the way that works is the one that's the under, actually I'll show you right here. You just put the glove on. And the ones that go under actually go, pretty self-explanatory, under the sleeve of your coat, like so. The ones that go over are going to be, the glove's going to go on just the same way, except for if you'll notice, my sleeve doesn't quite go over that easily, so it's going to go under. So this is called the over glove, this is called the under glove. Under, over, because this goes over my sleeve, this goes under my sleeve. 
And uh, last, last but not least is going to be the pipe gloves. These ones are super thin, but super dextile. So they're not going to keep you warm, but you can do tons of things without taking your gloves off. Well, some of the less essentials that you're going to need, uh, first and foremost, you're going to need some snowboarding socks. Those are always important. Um, you're going to need your base layer, something to go underneath your coat. Um, you're also going to need a beanie, always going to need a beanie. Neck gaiter, something to keep your neck nice and warm. You're going to need some crash pads, possibly for the go underneath your pants. And you're going to need some snacks, you always want to keep full. Um, you're going to need a tool in case you need to switch anything on your bindings or your snowboard. All right, so if you have any more questions, feel free to email us at info at boardinsiders.com. And again, to purchase anything that you've seen today, um, feel free to go to our website, visit our retail partners. They're going to give you the best possible deal that you can find on any of this stuff. And uh, again, this has been Tyler, and uh, you guys are now ready to get out there and try your first day on the snow.